All right, guys. Um, I bet you know what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's not much of a surprise, but you know I'm a huge fan of what Hedgehog Leatherworks do. Uh, I've been a really huge fan of their uh, Blackbird, uh, Blackbird SK5 knife too. And the only thing I was missing was a nice leather sheath for this knife. A nice uh, survival survival sheath uh, with everything I would need in a survival situation. And a nice piece of work, a nice piece of artwork I can say. And I finally uh, was able to order it and got it yesterday by the mail. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. So first thing, if you want to watch the video of the SK5, you can find it in my videos. I will put uh, a box at the end of this video. Uh, if you want to see it, just feel free. It's uh, an excellent knife. Uh, I won't make a new review right now, but it's an excellent blade, excellent knife really well built and built for survival by someone that knows what his, he does and how to do it in the right way. Now, what I've got here is this and this is a masterpiece in my opinion. Um, I'm really really impressed by the quality, um, by the functionality. I haven't tried it for a long time net, yet, obviously. But um, I'm really confident and I really know how he works, how he designs his sheath and I don't doubt uh, I will be really pleased on the field. But I'm just gonna run over uh, the various features of that sheath. So just let me a few seconds to prepare the camera and put everything into place. I'm gonna show you what's inside, uh, what's what are the features, the general features of that awesome knife. So uh, first thing you have here, uh, a little package with the Allen wrenches you may need to um, <clears throat> to screw or tighten those uh, all the the hardware that is on this sheath. This is just not the main, the most important part of <laughs> this review. Now, I'm gonna begin by how the knife is held um, in the sheath. As you may see, you have three um, snap buttons. One on the top over the pommel and two on another piece of leather that wraps around uh, the knife's handle. Now all those are using his patented uh, quick opening system. When you open it, you have a piece of elastic band that opens everything so that you don't have any piece of leather that is uh, in the way of the blade, of the edge of the blade. So you can really open this uh, fast without slashing your leather every time you, you, you get the knife in your hands. This is a really nice technique and system he has here, and it works perfectly. I have uh, another sheath from Paul Scheider, and it works as well. This is really an excellent uh, piece of work. So, as you may see, it just fits very well inside. You can use it for a left or right-handed draw. Uh, it's, uh, this is really clever because you can really put it and it doesn't matter, matter uh, that it's closed in that way or in the other way it works as well so you don't have to worry about that it's all new so it's still a bit stiff but up here you have that it works perfectly that piece of layer uh, of leather overlapping here and you have another huge piece of leather on the back like that and you have three 
layers for the sheath itself with that small uh, insert that allows you to protect the blade uh, without without dulling it without risking of going through the sheath um, when you put it back inside so it's a really safe safe sheath also because you have all those nuts bolts and nuts that uh, will just prevent you from going through uh, the sheath uh, if you have any uh, kind of you know problem or it's just a really tough sheath it's um, it's pretty heavy I must say but looking at the quality the finishing the, the size of the leather and the heavy construction you have something that you can trust um, well it's not the sheath that you will uh, trust your life on it's the knife but with a knife like that if you have a sheath that breaks or you know like uh, Paul Scheiter did uh, have years ago and which is also the reason why he started to build this sheath is because he lost his knife and had to spend a hard night out without being able to light a fire and stuff like that so this is really important to have a really strong sheath now as you see everything is not oversized but really um, he uses a lot of bolts and nuts uh, a lot of hardware which makes it really really strong and durable and now you may also see the leather this is something different from the other sheath I have it's a textured leather which helps also in blending and which which looks really nice I really must say that I love that uh, that feeling that soft touch it's it's really well made and it's nice it looks really nice but the most important features you have on the sheath um, for survival is this excellent fire steel I really love his fire steels they are excellent quality comfortable to use and you won't lose it because you have that really strong elastic band that slips over and even without we see you have a lot of resistance well the more you use the fire steel the less resistance you will have but this elastic is strong enough and you will uh, you don't have to worry about that now the other really clever thing is that stone sharpening stone which is held in place with that um, piece of webbing that allows you to get it in and out and you have an excellent sharpening stone that allows you to keep on the field an excellent edge on that blackbird knife and here you don't have to worry at all either because it's really strong and well made you can look at the stitches you have two rows of stitches all along the edges here um, you have uh, really strong stitches here I don't see a lot at all on the camera hope you see that well here you have strong stitches you have uh, rivets at every every strong um, where every point where you need a lot of strength and you have nuts and bolts in the other places so and the re uh, the snap buttons are premium quality you you feel that when you use them they really feel uh, better than those I can find in the shop in Switzerland now for the features you have seen the handle retention mechanism here you have seen the thickness of excuse me thickness of the sheath you have seen the stone um, pouch and the fire steel loop now on the back of the sheath here you have several very interesting features as well maybe you haven't noticed but this pretty much looks like uh, a biting snake I don't know you but I do see something like that and like when you see it you probably can't and see it it's it looks really nice with the stamp here a hedgehog stamp well it's a Wolverine indeed but and another marking here but the most important feature is that you have something that works with moly gear and this is really a nice excuse me a really nice thing because 
Moly gear uh, is an excellent mechanism and when you have your backpack you want to have your knife on the backpack you want to have it on your uh, moly vest you you just can put it anywhere and you can also put it on your belt without having to remove your belt just because you have four snap buttons here that allow you to fold uh, back and over and the, the the attachment now here as you may see it's a single piece of leather that goes here and folds back and is fixed with um, eight rivets to the moly uh, I don't know how you call that the moly traps let's say that but you notice notice here you have um, eyelets and why are those eyelets here and why is that power cord inside the main reason for that is that you can put the power cord in your eyelets like so when you have your belt passing through and depending depending of the size on the size of, of your belt this allows you you, you just make a simple uh, knot over hand knot or I don't know whatever uh, you feel comfor comfortable with it allows you that when you draw the knife you won't have the sheath moving all the way like so when you pull the knife the, the paracord will block and avoid it from moving all along the straps like so so this is really clever uh, really great idea and I have tried that at home yesterday uh, it works pretty really, really well it's really comfortable to have that with you and here as well you won't have any worry to have with the security of the sheath on your belt of course if you don't use the paracord you can just put it that way but this adds to the security the paracord I mean through the eyelet this adds to the security and it's it's also really more comfortable than when you have your sheath sheath moving like so um, around your belt and this is a really really clever idea now uh, the finishing is as always uh, excellent you just can't complain it's really great you have also two eyelets here if you want to add a piece of paracord uh, running around your um, your leg which is something I really like too because it's also a mean to have some paracord with you and you can if you don't want to to put around the knife uh, a lanyard or a leash you can just put it on the eyelets and let it hang there so that you can use it only when you really need to so guys this is a really really nice piece of equipment really comfortable really uh, really well designed well thought uh, durable I I think I don't take any risks by saying that uh, as always when Hedgehog Leatherworks does something they do it well and they do it to be durable so it's an awesome piece of equipment it just goes so well with the with the knife uh, itself I mean the design the uh, comfort the everything it's really an, a perfect survival setup I think you use that plus um, a steel cup and you have almost everything you would need in a survival situation or at least everything I would need in a survival situation now um, about the price I'm gonna write it uh, just under because I don't remember I exactly and don't want to say um, false prices but it's um, it's an excellent investment for anyone that is serious about survival or outdoor um, outdoor self-reliance and stuff like that it's a really really well made sheath uh, it's a kind of tank or it's comparable to a tank because it's so resistant it's so well built it's so well thought you have something really really durable and you won't complain uh, complain on using <laughs> something like that in your survival experience a very very nice piece of equipment and I bet anyone that can afford that will be really really happy with that it's 
I think much better than the one that came with it uh, and I must say the one that came with it was already excellent but this is even more uh, I think this is the perfect um, completion uh, it completes your kit in a way uh, that you will really enjoy to or be happy to if you have to to, to buy a knife and a, a complete survival uh, sheath I mean this is uh, this is <laughs> how can I say that this is the stuff this is this is what <clears throat> what I would like to have with me uh, if I was going in the photographic trip in the middle of the jungle or anywhere when I'm gonna go for a survival trip or weekend it's really a perfect perfect equipment so this is the hedgehog leatherwork sheath for the blackbird sk5 designed by Paul Scheider and it's really outstanding gear so just wanted to share that with you because I'm so amazed by the quality and <clears throat> I will uh, post updates in the future if I have to um, just <laughs> I'm speechless <laughs> I'm speechless it's it's really an excellent excellent piece of equipment and I'm so happy I could finally get that now I'm gonna go into the testing part uh, not today on that video but now the, the next step is testing the durability testing the functionality but as I've said, um, I'm not worried at all. I have used my other sheath from Hedgehog a lot and it's really super resistant. It's really uh, excellent stuff, so I'm not worried about that at all. So guys, um, I thank you for watching. Just gonna move the cam. Okay, I uh, was saying I thank you for watching. I'm just gonna be quick on that one because the sun is fading and I need to go back home before uh, so I really hope I will be able to make more videos in the future if you have something you want me to test I I can see if I can do that it could be also interesting but I'm gonna mostly try to focus on testing uh, the things I have on my list, but I just I'm just waiting for uh, Even here you have the cell phone that disturbs you <laughs> in the making of a video So I will try to, to test uh, as many um, Equipment as I can I will try to continue my uh, Researches about survival here in the Alps. I'm working on that just don't have as always enough time to to progress quickly and discover quickly all that but I'll try to share my experience and what I discover with you and try to make if I can more videos so guys thank you thank you for watching and see